Actually, it's just me. I'm Caroline. Um, I'm actually the communications manager for the Arts Centre um, in Christchurch. Uh, Michael and Sarah were un unable to make it, so I wasn't expecting to be standing up here today, and, but they have entrusted me to give their presentation. So here goes. Um, quite a few of you are probably familiar with the Arts Centre in Christchurch. Um, it's reopening in stages. Um, and one of the elements that has opened really recently, just in August, is Rutherford's Den. Um, Rutherford's Den has been around for a long time at the Arts Centre. Um, the earthquakes closed it um, five years ago, um, and it gave the Arts Centre an opportunity to reimagine how Rutherford's story could be told. And they brought in Michael and Sarah from SM Projects in Australia to use a variety of digital storytelling techniques to tell Rutherford's story. And as the communications manager, I can um, vouch that they've done a fantastic job. We've had um, fabulous feedback. It's, it's a completely different experience to what it was before the earthquakes, and it's given us an opportunity to tell Rutherford's story in a whole lot of different ways. Um, last week's earthquakes were actually quite a good reminder of the good things that can come out of earthquakes. Um, this is definitely one of them. This is a real success story, as is the Arts Centre, as it reopens. I um, hope you come and check it out next time you're in Christchurch. So in 2015, um, the Arts Centre um, commenced this ambitious project to redevelop Rutherford's Den. Um, Rutherford's Den is a museum space dedicated to the legacy of Lord Ernest Rutherford, who's one of New Zealand's most prominent scientists. You're probably aware of this. He's the guy with the moustache on the $100 note, if you didn't realise that. Um, we do give away quite a lot of moustaches, actually, quite popular in the shop. The art centre is based within the grounds of the former University of Canterbury, which is where Ernest Rutherford undertook his first significant scientific research as a master's student in the 1890s. So this is the real beauty of this space, is it's a heritage space, but within that we've um, fitted all these amazing new um, digital storytelling devices which, which fit beautifully within the space, but it's really bringing to life this old story, and it's actually the thing that blows away particularly the students who come into the space, because we do run an education program, is that he actually studied there, and we take them down to the den, which you'll see, um, the actual den where he studied, um, and they, they, I think it really helps to bring home to them that from really humble beginnings, you can take an idea and turn it into something pretty amazing, which is what Rutherford did. Um, so it was at the Art Centre, um, where he, when he worked at the Art Centre, or at um, University of Canterbury, he was awarded an international exhibition scholarship to Cambridge University, where he joined the likes of JJ Thompson, working at the very forefront of modern physics in the 20th century. So here's the Art Centre. It's, this is a couple of months old now. This is the North Quad. It's all reopened. It's been landscaped. If you go to the Art Centre website, you can see how it looks today. Um, Rutherford's Den is adjacent to this. It's kind of down in this um, bottom right-hand corner. Um, so this is where Rutherford, this is the, the campus where Rutherford studied. Um, so in spite of the Canterbury um, earthquakes, uh, the Arts Centre has remained one of the most significant clusters of heritage buildings in New Zealand. Um, and rebuilding the Arts Centre, or restoring it following the earthquakes, um, is, has not been about just restoring the heritage features, but also fitting it out with the latest modern infrastructure and technology. So this is throughout the whole site. Rutherford's Den's a really great example of how this has um, become a reality. Um, but the work behind the scenes, this is the library building, for example, um, and the North Quad underneath that, there's been huge trenches dug for a lot of services and for a lot of data. Um, the whole site now has got not just the latest data, um, it's also centrally heated, and that will be f um, that's um, drawn from on-site aquifers, so the, f the site will be sustainable. So there's a lot of that kind of stuff going on as we reimagine the Arts Centre. Um, so the Arts Centre, the vision for the Arts Centre is to create 
um, a hub for creative entrepreneurs in the heart of Christchurch, and I think the Rutherfords Den is a really good step in this direction. This, um, this is actually a uh, still from a time lapse, uh, which you can see on our website if you go to the Rutherford Den pages. So you can see the transformation from a heritage space uh, into the Rutherford Den of today. So um, on the outside there, and you can sort of kind of make out the ceiling that's all um, been retained. Everything's had to be fitted in there um, in amongst strict heritage um, restrictions. Um, it, before the earthquakes, this was just an empty room, essentially. So what they've done here is, in the middle, uh, you can see a circular type experience there. You actually step inside that, and we'll see some visuals from that shortly. So um, as you learn about atomic structure, you step inside that um, experience, and you're actually surrounded by um, visuals that explain atoms, and it actually responds to your movements. So it's a really, really great way of getting across the idea of, of how um, atomic structure was discovered. Um, in the foreground, you can see quite modern looking equipment. Um, there's a lot of iPads, uh, there's a lot of interactive um, um, experiments with magnets and so forth. So people are really encouraged to come in and interact with the exhibition. It's not about just coming in and, and reading stuff. There's a lot of reading, but um, kids in particular love the fact that they can come in and play with all the stuff that's in there. So this is the um, Rutherford Sten web page. If you go to the Arts Centre site, you can um, find out, dig in a, a, a lot more to find out about all the different elements that we've got going on in the space. Um, and you'll find a mix of interactive, immersive and hands-on exhibits and interpretations. And they're not only devoted to Rutherford as a person, but also, also to his qualities of scientific imagination, curiosity, and collaboration. So it doesn't just focus on Rutherford himself, it's, it um, delves into um, a lot of the work of his peers. So this is just a really short excerpt from one of the videos that plays up in the main lecture theatre. So this is a lecture theatre that has the old wooden benches as they were back in the 1880s where uh, Rutherford himself sat. Um, and now instead of the blackboards, we've put up um, these digital screens that um, show, play a video, so we call it a digital blackboard. It looks like a blackboard. Uh, before it plays, you, you may not even realise that you're in a room that's been fitted out with modern technology, and that's, that's part of the mystique of the space, really. You need to get in there and you, you, you get fooled into thinking you've just stepped back in time into an old lecture theatre, and it looks beautiful and it's been restored perfectly, but then next thing, on these massive screens, you get um, these beautiful, this beautiful video playing, explaining the story of Rutherford and his contemporaries. Um, so for Sarah and her team, um, when they were selected in 2015, um, the, they treated the opportunity to reimagine Rutherford's den as a chance to revisit this iconic legend using the tools and methods of site-specific digital storytelling and interpretation. SM projects, so they're based in Australia, um, they, they were formed out of a passion for digital storytelling and the creative possibilities afforded by mixed, multi, multi, sorry, mixed media interventions into a space, integrating physical and digital experiences into museum and placemaking contexts. So much of the studio's previous work helped create new experiences of, a, of the Arts Centre and the Rutherford's Den's history, using the tools of augmented and immersive media, sound and projection, to connect with historical collections in novel ways. Bringing the tools and the ethos of place-based digital storytelling allowed them to reimagine Rutherford's own story and its place in our digital era. They connected it with the origins of the electric universe and to the future of energy and our collective scientific imagination. So um, they do this in various ways. The, one of the great ways they connect to the future of energy is in a what we call the future energy room 
um, funnily enough. And um, kids love this one as well. You go in there and um, it's got a screen on the wall and you stand on a square in front of it. And essentially, if you, for example, wave your arms and there is a Kia on the screen, you wave your arms, it actually picks up your movements. And as you're waving your arms, you might be generating wind energy, for example. Or in another one, there's a Kiwi and he's stomp stomping his feet and he's digging down into the earth, so he's generating energy. So it's a really great interactive way of explaining to children just how um, renewable energy comes about. And, and again, just something completely new and original um, for other Fistine, and it's been um, it's gone down really, really well. Um, so traditionally, Rutherford's story is told as that of, his, of an iconic genius, a man who discovered the nuclear structure of the atom. Einstein called him a second Newton, and he was also called the greatest experimental physicist ever to have lived. This is the heroic view of the scientist, but it underplays the extent to which Rutherford was a collaborator and benefited from the insights and abilities of others. Through digital storytelling and digital curation, visitors can explore the many connections between Rutherford and other realms of scientific discovery to connect the discoveries of light, magnetism, electricity, color, and atomic structure. To connect art and science, but also to connect the world of atoms with the contemporary world of bits. As you arrive in Rutherford's den, this is what we, call, what we call the Rutherford's wall. So what you can't see from this is that it is actually an interactive screen. So you can touch the screen, um, move the elements around to explore the particular areas that you are really interested in. And one thing we've found is that people, when they arrive, they don't realise it's interactive and it's quite a new idea, concept for them that they can actually come in and touch, touch the screen to find out what they need to know. So it's been quite good that this is located very close to the entry um, so that we can actually explain that to them. The whole style of the um, experience has been kept quite minimal. Um, so we don't want to put up too many signs. We want people to just explore and discover as they go through. Um, the immersive um, experiment that I was, or experience I was talking about earlier that explains um, the atomic structure, this is an excerpt from that. So you're standing inside this huge um, curved um, experience and it interacts as you move and explains to you um, the atomic structure. So it's a really beautiful way of using um, the digital storytelling to get that message across to people. This is the den. So this is the actual cloakroom that Rutherford had converted into a space for his early experiments. So down here we've used um, sound recordings and a um, film projected onto the wall to give people the experience that they're actually in the space with him. And again, this has been really great for children. Um, so I'm needing to wrap up now. So uh, <laughs> trying to, um, all I can say is, look, you want to come down and see this if you, the next time you're in Christchurch. There is a lot to see in, in this. Um, I'm not a science person, I'm an arts person, and I've learned a lot, and every time I go in there I learn a lot, and at the end of the day, as a, commu as a communications person, to me, that's, that's what it's all about, for people to, to come into the space and learn about Rutherford in their own way, and I think that they, they have the choice um, by using such a variety of techniques. Thank you. Mm -hmm.